how would you define the United States empire as you take a view of the United States, you know, the history of the United States and international relations? Is the United States an imperialistic country? Is it an empire? Is it a different kind of empire than the British, French classical empire? Well, I've been asked this question a lot, obviously, because uh, the idea of American empire, just like the idea of Soviet empire, is, uh, is an extremely popular idea among historians and political scientists. Uh, I've argued in the book that, you know, neither the United States nor the Soviet Union are empires in the sense in which I'm using it to describe those European territorial empires, which dated back actually four or five hundred years of, of global expansion from Europe. Uh, um, the United States and the Soviet Union are hegemonic powers. They dominated other powers and they did, did so deliberately, either through economic pressure or because of you know, military threat. But they were not territorial empires in the sense in which you know, the Japanese, the Germans and the Italians wanted a territorial empire. Indeed, the United States is often we call an empire of bases, which I suppose is quite a good way of describing it, that there are you know, military bases all over the world. Uh, and the Soviet Union, of course, was the dominant uh, force in uh, Eastern Europe. Um, but, you know, this was not territorial empire. The, the, the establishment of a you know, sense of racial superiority over subject peoples, which had characterized the spread of empire for the previous two or three centuries. 